Our Father in heaven, we are so grateful to be a part of this happy day for Emma and Gavin. We know, Lord, that they uh, have planned this for a year or better, and the day has finally arrived, and we are happy for them, Lord. I pray that your blessing would be upon them in everything they do. May they continue to make God the head of their lives, the head of their home, and may they grow spiritually together as they live year after year. Gavin, when I think of you, so many things come to mind. You're a man of God, a hard worker, my own personal cheerleader, and my bestest friend. But I think the most important thing is you are my biggest blessing. Emma Rose Downey, you were the woman of my dreams, and you were so kind, caring, loving, and passionate. Every second I'm with you, I keep falling in love with you over and over again. Can't wait to build our family and to serve God in the center of that family. The hope we carry some days feels like a burden. But this blood inside our veins was paid for with purpose. There's a ghost in these bones and it's willing my soul. I feel it like a fire. Let my love pour over you, darling. It's my one desire. If anyone would have told my kid self that I was going to marry the little boy who at the Easter picnic took his shirt off, probably to impress me, and the majority of our relationship would have been over FaceTime, I probably would have laughed. But I wouldn't want to be standing in front of anybody else to marry today. For years I have prayed for you, and I prayed for a man who would lead me spiritually, who would make me laugh until I cry, and who would hold me on days when life is just not right. You are all of those things, and so much more. You're beautiful. Okay. I'm gonna cry all day. Stop that, Mom. <laughs> Emma, you're a very beautiful bride and we're very proud of you and we love you very much. We're happy to be part of this new chapter of your life. Yeah, I wanna congratulate you on your wedding and, and hope you have a wonderful, great life together. I love you. Thank you. When you marry, you marry for life. We've nearly all said, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto him or her, so long as you both shall live. Our mindset going in to marriage must be, this is for life. picture anyone more perfect for Emma than you, Gavin. You have become my brother, and you are, and you will always be perfect for Emma. Even on the days you fail, even on the days you don't think you're worthy, you will always be worthy. I choose you. Anyone who knows anything about marriage knows that it's hard work, but today I promise to always love you unconditionally and cherish the man that I chose. I'm going to be the best husband that I can be for you, and I know I may fail, but I will always be there for you no matter what, and you are my best friend and I love you. moment I was talking to you and while we were dating, there was just something that made me know that you were the one. And I cannot wait to spend a lifetime of adventure and making new memories in this new chapter of you and I. I promise to always be yours. To the end of our days, I love you, Gavin King Burkholder, always and forever. I'd say we're all proud of where 
Gavin has come with Emma. One plus one equals two, right? Like a fire, like a flood. That's how I feel your love. I just pray that you guys will honor each other and most importantly to keep God first and foremost in your life. Because without Him in your life, nothing will go right. But as long as you have Him in the middle, your third strand, your life will be more beautiful and magical than you can ever imagine. Like a fire, like a flood. That's how I feel your love Like a fire, like a flood That's how I Kiss your bride. That's how I feel your love. Like a fire, like a flood. I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Gavin Burkholder.